lot of poetry lately, especially ones from the Romanticism era, um, and it got me thinking about that time period as a whole, especially for the more creative individuals. So I did some research and got some very interesting information, and I decided to take this time to share that information with you lovely people. So today I want to talk about two of my favorite artists from the Romanticism era, John Keats and Caspar David Friedrich. I'll talk about a piece of theirs that I particularly liked and thought was very interesting and kind of talk more about that, about like the aspects of the poem itself and maybe what it means and you know, all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's begin! This is John Keats, an English romantic poet. He's actually considered to be one of the greatest poets of his generation. I chose one of my personal favorites of John Keats. On first looking into Chapman's Homer, uh, it's a very, very interesting poem. Much of I traveled in the realms of gold, and many goodly states and kingdoms seen. Round many western islands uh, have I been, which bards in feet fealty to Apollo hold. Oft of one wide expanse had I been told, that deep burrowed Homer ruled at his demands. Yet did I never breathe it's pure, serene, till I heard Chapman speak out loud and bold, and felt I like some watcher of the skies, when a new planet swims into his ken, or like stout Cortez, when with eagle eyes, he starred at the Pacific, and all of his men looked each other with wild surmise. Silent upon a peak in Darien. So I chose to analyze this poem because I felt that it had a lot of excellent and quite interesting word choice. Some words that I hadn't seen before, and I was like, oh, hey, I'm gonna look this up, and what does this mean? And it was just very interesting, and it helped expand my vocabulary in a certain way. I feel like this poem, in terms of the specific elements of romanticistic poetry and the romantic period, um, mostly relates to the love of the Middle Ages. Um, romantic poets adored the Middle Ages, and they felt that that time period in particular was beautiful, everything was simpler, and Everything was just better before it suddenly became modernized in most ways. Um, and that's especially seen with the first lines um, talking about realms of gold, realms of gold and kingdoms. Overall, I feel like this poem is talking about a man's journey through these different stages of an adventure and talking about like Pacific Ocean and Homer and Chapman and Apollo and all of these different aspects of this man's journey and in a way I feel like he's kind of putting himself in this poem. This is Caspar David Friedrich. He is a 19th century romantic painter, um, born in Germany, and he is mostly known for painting landscapes. However, he is considered to be one of the greatest painters of his time. So for the painting analysis, I chose to look at this painting of his. It's called the Abbey. It's called the Abbey in the Oakwood, and as you can see, there is a worn-down part of the church. Um, 
there's some graveyard in the front and it's mostly surrounded by oak trees. I feel like in some ways this could be related to how during that time period it was in some ways less and less to follow the standard ideals of the church. Um, it was becoming less and less to just blindly follow priests and bishops and preachers and the Catholic Church was having less of a power over the countries of Europe during this time period. I feel like showing the dem the demolishing church building and the graveyard in front of it could be representing a slow but upcoming death to the Catholic Church. The way that he used the grayscale colors within this painting and the way that he makes it look in a way very dead is just absolutely brilliant. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I'll make sure to see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe, eat well, and love lots. Mwah! Bye!